your rope will get stuck. So here's the good news. Today, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for ascending climbing rope or canyoning rope or caving rope, whatever. So I'm just going to abseil, pull up a rope. There's so much snow. So what would be a really stupid thing to do is to lose my rope. How do you ascend climbing rope? It all comes down to this. Translated to climbing, this means that we have two blocking systems. When we transfer our weight from one blocking system to the other, we can move up and down the rope. The nice thing is we can replace these with any other blocking system that you can imagine. I might have missed some. Here's two little rules. First one, there always has to be at least one system that's safe to attach yourself to. And the second rule is the top system always has to be able to slide when the rope is under tension. So what if you're just starting out and you don't have mechanical ascenders yet? Well, every canyoneer has this and a piece of webbing. Big hole to the carabiner. So we're going to install it the Italian way. Put the rope, twist. There we go. And this blocks. I want to be attached to it. Same thing, get up. So what else would work? Garden knot. Auto blocking, Italian hit, clip it into your carabiner. Make a second carabiner, but here it blocks. Just only use this with small ropes, because with thick ropes, it's just an awful lot of friction. As you more, a bit bigger, you have a handhold. Climbing technology, roll and rock. Has a micro traction. Shunt works on single and double ropes. Slide it, a wrench. No, I'm just kidding. Puzzle reverso in guide mode. Anything that works with a piece of webbing, whether it's single or closed loop, because there's tons of this. A Prusik knot. You can also use slings. What's actually nice about coming to this crag when there's so much snow is, look at that, there's no one. I've got the crag all to myself. Let me show you another one. So now the moment you've all been waiting for, how can you ascend any rope using just this. And I'm also going to show you a little hack because this is not efficient. The disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Put it up to take the rope and you make a foot lock underneath. And with my other foot, I'm going to block it here. Up. And I'm going to stand on. I can move up. Check this out. Okay, I'm just going to clip in the garden off. So I'm putting in the rope. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be my pedal. This is where I'm going to be attached to. So I'm going to attach this. I'm going to slide up this, pulling up my foot. Stand on this. There you go. This is really, 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 really important. So you have your hands below and you push it up from the bottom. Pushing up like this. You can do the same thing with a shunt. And especially with a shunt, you're even more careful. Always your hands below the device. So I'm up, so... In the case you're wondering how I'm gonna get down, make sure you check out this video on how to abseil like a pro. See you next time. Ciao.